The end of life is never an easy topic and always a heavy discussion, even when it involves your beloved pet. Well, tonight, CBS 2 Susie Sy introduces us to a small but growing field of compassionate hospice care for animals. Roxy is probably the quirkiest, smartest dog. A purebred British Labrador and a pure joy for the Twing family from Orange County. She's just been the most loving, trusting, open, available dog. Their beloved dog for more than a decade. I'm kind of selfish, you know, it's my one last thing that links us all together and, and you know, I don't really want to see her go. Now that Lori's children are older and have moved out, Roxy is the family's third and last dog. She has arthritis and difficulty walking. Most of us want their pet to just curl up in the middle of the night and pass in their sleep. Dr. Mary Gardner is not your typical pet doctor. She's part of a small but growing group of veterinarians who specialize in caring for old or terminally ill pets. End of life animal care provides both support and comfort for pets in a loving home environment. It's just about caring when we don't have a cure. And people don't want to say goodbye too soon. While they're preparing for the end and while they're waiting for that day, that their pet is comfortable and is being treated properly and is getting the best health care. The best health care at home, surrounded by their family during the last stages of life. And to make sure their quality of life and the human animal bond remains intact. Determining when is time? This is going to be a decision that you have to make. A difficult, wretching decision for Lori and her children, Ryan and Tasha. Are we doing the right thing? You know, because she still seems so happy. But then again, today she lost her bowels three different times and her nose is all dry and crusty. After many tearful discussions, they've decided to give Roxy a peaceful send off with hospice euthanasia. The dog or the cat can have all their other family members present. It's not as scary for them. They're, they're in their own environment. Hi, Angel. Who's a good girl? Dr. Mary spends time with each family, preparing them for the heavy decision they're making. As the family gathers during this emotionally difficult time, Dr. Mary provides comfort. Mother Nature's neither fast nor painless. You're doing the right thing, and, and I think being at home will make it much easier. Easier, possibly medically, but not without great sadness. The first thing I'm gonna do Okay, he's give her a little injection of a sedative so she'll feel good. And the final medication is an overdose of anesthesia. And that's what you want for her is to pass in her sleep and you're doing that. It's such an honor to be the one to help these families say goodbye to their love. I hope it helps people let go of their pets when their pets are ready and not when we're ready, you know? Because I would keep her on for forever. To learn more about veterinary home hospice care, you can find a link to Dr. Mary's website at cbsla.com.